in this uh, chapter of locomotion and movement we will now start with skeleton or skeletal system before we discuss the system which is of bones in case of higher uh, animals including us we will first try to see different types of skeleton so when we use the word skeleton we normally classify them into three categories hydrostatic skeleton then we talk about exoskeleton and thirdly the endoskeleton one that is a hydrostatic skeleton here a liquid is used to provide that strength or shape what is the function of the skeletal system in general it provides a framework it gives a shape to the body of the organism so in this case first case that is hydrostatic there is a fluid or a liquid which is going to provide that framework so here we write that a fluid provides this uh, framework where and that is why we call it hydrostatic skeleton we'll take an example to understand how this fluid helps in movement and locomotion plus also provides the framework say if we talk about the example that is hydra we know the structure of hydra it has a gastrovascular cavity this is the body and it is attached to a substratum the opening is the mouth and here there are tentacles also which are there but we are not drawing them because we are focusing on something else this gastrovascular cavity is filled with water and the reason why it is known as gastrovascular cavity because when water comes into this cavity through this water the animal takes the food here digestion uh, the food will be taken and then it will be digested plus it is the same water from where the gaseous exchange will also take place now when water fills this cavity then this water which is there in the gastrovascular cavity is helping as hydrostatic skeleton even for skeletal purpose as well as for movement and locomotion fluids are not compressed that easily so if hydra has to elongate then what is hydra going to do number 1 it closes its mouth if this mouth is closed then we would see this cavity disappear there is no cavity secondly the circular muscular structures or the cells we have seen earlier that they don't have muscles but there are cells and these cells they have processes which act like circular muscles so those structures contract so we here write circular muscle fiber but we have to remember these are not the specialized circular muscles these are actually specialized cells which are acting as circular muscle fibers they contract if the circular muscles contract from here the liquid it is going to get pressed but there is no space for this liquid to move anywhere so what is going to happen is its length is going to increase so when this becomes narrower what happens is i'm erasing these tentacles the structure will become like this it is going to get elongated and this cavity will become narrower like this so it is the same liquid which was providing the shape to the organism as, as well as it is the same liquid which is helping in movement and locomotion and such a fluid or a fluid filled cavity which helps in movement locomotion and framework then we call it hydrostatic 
skeleton. Exoskeleton. Exo means outside. So hard structure which is present outside the body that is known as exoskeleton. We can take a couple of examples of exoskeleton like shells. In case of snails, it is made up of calcium carbonate. And this is a hard structure which is a protective structure for the organism because snails are mollusks and they have very soft body. So they remain or they stay inside this hard calcareous shell. Then next is chitin which makes the exoskeletal plates in case of arthropods. In arthropoda like insects. So they have these chitinous plates and this chitinous structure provides them protection as well as the framework. In case of higher animals or in case of vertebrates, we talk about some more structures like scales. These are also exoskeletal structures protecting the body. We can also talk about nails, horns, hooves. These structures, they are formed by modification of the epidermis and in all these things, there is keratin deposition. Keratinized. So these structures are formed due to keratinization. There is deposition of keratin, which is a protein. It gets deposited here and the structure becomes hard and protective. So these are all exoskeletal structures. Coming to endoskeleton. In endoskeleton, we have two main categories that is of cartilage and bones. Endo means inside. So these are the structures which are present inside the body. They are mesodermal in origin, both. Mesodermal in origin. Both of them are mesodermal. There are three germ layers, endoderm, ectoderm and mesoderm. Both these tissues, they arise from mesoderm and that is why we call them mesoderm. Cartilage is a softer endoskeleton. Bone has a hard matrix. The detailed structure of the tissue we talk of when we discuss animal tissues. But here, what we know is cartilage is made up of two parts, that is cells and the matrix. The cells are known as chondrocytes and depending upon what is there in the matrix, we have three types of cartilage. If the matrix is clear, that means without any fiber, then the, car the cartilage is known as hyaline cartilage. Hyaline means glass-like. It is more or less transparent. And if it has fibers, then it would be called fibrous. If the matrix has fibers, then we would have two types of cartilages. If the fiber is collagen, then it is known as white cartilage. It is white, non-elastic. And the second is elastin protein. Elastin is yellow. So both of these, they are called fibrous cartilages. So either we have hyaline cartilage, we can have with collagen fiber or it could be with elastin fiber. So there are two things, chondrocytes and matrix. Just a quick recap of what the tissue looks like. The, these chondrocytes, they are small oval cells and they are placed in a fluid filled cavity so there is a cavity around them. This cavity is known as lacuna and around this we have this matrix. If we have collagen in it, then collagen fiber is always in the form of a bundle. This is collagen. It is always in the form of a bundle. These fibers are unbranched and if there is elastin, then elastin fibers are branched and they are always uh, single. 
So this would be the structure. This is these are the chondrocytes. These cells they are called chondrocytes. In embryos, vertebrate embryos, the first skeleton which is formed is cartilaginous. After that, in the matrix part, there is deposition of calcium salts takes place. That is known as ossification. So cartilage gets replaced by the bone. So ossification takes place. Bones, again, when we talk of bones, we can classify them into various categories as long bones and flat bones. We can also classify them on the basis of compact bones and spongy bones. So this detail of what exactly the structure is, like do they have Haversian system or not, all these things we will discuss in the tissue part. But now in this chapter, we will be talking about the bones, all different types of bones, where they are present, how they articulate with each other, different types of joints. That means we are now talking about the human skeleton system and that we will start from the next video.